Hello there. Welcome to Canine Corner. This is the third episode, and you know what they say, third time's a charm, right guys? Exactly. Oh, yeah. I am extremely happy to be here with you right now. I am your host, Eli Grashman. These are my buddies over here in the kennel, Carlos Lopez, clap it up, clap it up. Edwin Wayne Scott, clap it up, clap it up. And now, I'm here to present you with some big news. Of course, this broke a few days ago, just a, a, quite a bit ago last yeah, week. Yeah, last week. But it's still big news for any Colts fan out there. Jonathan Taylor got his money. He did indeed. Three years, forty-two million dollar extension. Eighteen a year. The only person who's making more a year than him is uh, Christian McCaffrey, and Christian McCaffrey's on an MVP side. That's the season thing. Right now. He deserves all that money because he's played one through five weeks, and he's on a pace for thirty plus touchdowns this year, total yeah. touchdowns. So you're just like, he deserves that money, but with JT, you're kind of just like, he hasn't played. He hasn't played. He didn't play well last year. I mean, he was injured, of course. I mean, he, he wasn't yeah. his full self. But he didn't play well last year. He didn't do well last year. Uh, but he got his money. I didn't think he would. Uh, I wish he would have got his money earlier so we could have used yeah. him in the, those first four games of the season. But it is what it is because we had this guy, Zach Moss. He came up big. I even mean. even with JT back, he yeah. came up big. This guy, uh, him, him is all I have to describe it. He is exceptional. I know Carlos, you had him on your fantasy team. Thirty-two points. So I gotta say, he won me the won me the won me the game basically. Of course. I mean, that's big. That's big. Zach Moss, great player. He's really stepped up where JT has been missing early this season. Yeah, and uh, him coming back. Uh, Two weeks ago, I think, because he was on injury as well. He was yeah. on that injury report list. Broken well. arm. Yeah, broken arm. And uh, he just wondered what, what were the Colts going to do with the run game with Deion Johnson and the Evan uh, Hall something. Yeah. Uh, another third stringer. But he was wondering, like, what are they going to do with that good old line with no run game and has ARs, as you can call them, glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, come on. Like, yeah. Look. Well, also big news in the NFL. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. These two have taken the world by storm. They have. Just nonstop news coming from whether it be the NFL or just any other national news source. Everything is about these two. What a power couple. You know? I mean, I saw late September, she spiked his jersey sales up to 400%. 400 That's absolutely insane. Percent. That's four times his old jersey sales. And he's, it's not like he's a nobody. It's yeah. not like he's... He was a star, and then he became a super, super star. He, he's, he is as relevant as Gronk was back in the day. Yeah. He, he's, that's the type of player he is. He's basically Gronkowski. Yeah, and now he's just got extra, extra amounts of, of, of media attention from all of this. Yeah. Which, I mean, it shows, fellas, shoot your shot, you know? <laughs> yeah, shoot honey. your shot. You might get it. We got all right. To. Well, now, without further ado... I'm very excited to introduce you all to our esteemed guest, the uh, girls basketball coach and owner of the slickest jumper uh, in all of Frankfurt faculty. <laughs> snap it up, snap it up. Matt Crawford, come on up here. All right. Welcome, welcome. What a pleasure to be here. Thanks a lot. Good to have you, good to have you. <laughs> all right, I have you just sit there. Okay. So, uh, how you been? How you been? Great. We've gotten off to a, a great school year so far. Or Work out, workouts have been going great this fall, and uh, we're looking at starting practice on Monday. Nice. Monday, Monday's our season. So, If season. it's not too personal, where have you been these past couple of days lately? I was on a vacation with my daughter. We oh. went up. Uh, her fall break is this week, so we took off and went to Shipshawana and did a buggy ride and, you know, ate, ate a lot of fried chicken and mashed <laughs> potatoes and... Um, the uh, up there at the Blue Gate in Essen House, they have the best noodles. Oh yeah, oh, their noodles are amazing. Of course, um, full spread breakfast, rode in a buggy ride. It uh, it was it was a lot of fun. Sounds Just to like get away it. with my daughter. She's a fifth grader. Fifth grader. Yep. So, so that's where I that's what I've been doing the last couple of days. That's awesome. Okay. So I know that you're a Purdue fan, much like myself, and I have one big old question: Is this our year? It's never your year. Ooh, let's just say the uh, 
NCAA tournament was a real letdown last year. <laughs> it was tough. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I uh, cried. I cried. <laughs> It was it was very very tough yeah. to By to be a Purdue fan seed. the opening weekend of the of the tournament last year. I don't think I watched um, another game after after that, and that was one of the first games. It yeah, was... it, uh, it it made for a rough weekend because usually usually the first weekend there that Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday of the tournament it's like it's like a holiday to me. Yeah. I love it, and let's just say I I didn't particularly like it last year. Yeah, but we got the big man returning. Uh, we've got three or four other starters returning, you know, with uh, Braden Smith and Fletcher Lawyer, and they're coming back for their sophomore seasons. So, I mean, you know, Virginia did lose the year before they did win. Yeah. After so that that if is history true, and they did get beat by this. about history. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that holds true this year. Cause <laughs> Fingers crossed. It was it was it, it was a pretty. Pretty dark weekend for Purdue fans. So, yeah. oh yeah, you know, Campus but must have been dead. <laughs> <laughs> but every fall and every winter brings new hope, and that's what we're that's what we're hoping for Purdue this year. So I know, just a few years back, <laughs> speaking of college athletics, you uh, had to decide where you were going to college, and you decided on Goshen. Much like us, all of us here on, on mm -hmm. the stage are seniors, so we're all thinking about that too. How did you come to your decision to go to Goshen? Well, I had, so where I grew up in Middlebury, mm -hmm. I went to Northridge High School. Uh, Goshen was just right down the road. They were about 20 minutes uh, from where I grew up. So my, my junior and senior year, I started playing a lot of open gym with their guys. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got to know uh, Coach Doherty, Coach Furman really well. Coach Doherty was the head coach. I got to know them really well over, um, over a couple seasons or a couple years. And it came to, and they had come, they had come to watch me uh, play AAU, and um, he really, Coach Doherty had a policy that, you know, I care more about you as a, you know, as a person than just, you know, a Maple Leaf basketball player. And that kind of really spoke to me, and I knew at that time I wanted to teach and I wanted to coach. And he kind of... He kind of jump started a lot of the philosophy about you know what what being a coach is because you're always a teacher first yeah and and I, that's kind of a guy I wanted to play for uh, plus they offered me in July before my senior year started yeah so um, so I was able to sign in August to not have to worry about it the rest of my senior year. Nice. I could just relax, be yep. a senior, be a senior, Ball play out. my senior year, and and I had my college all all set for. Yeah. So one thing so. about college is that uh, was this your jumper in college? Like was it identical? You know, uh, in in college, I, I kind of had a little bit more lift. Lift to my jumper. I could I could get up a little. I thought bit you had that low and, arc, and I, I, <laughs> I liked it. I really did like it. But you know the uh, the shooting touch. You know, it never, it never gets out of your blood. Like, anytime you pick up a basketball, you're muscle memory. Yeah, it's muscle memory, right? You get into the gym and your your body slows down a little bit. You yeah. know, not not 22 anymore. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, there was a little bit more lift on the jumper back in the day. But yeah, it was it was still so falling. Likely the same. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So back at Goshen, when you were playing basketball, you mm -hmm. were the number 13, much like Carlos here at Frankfurt. Uh, is, did that have any significance to you? Did you? Was there a reason why you chose it, or was it just like given to you and you just went with it? So there was actually a big reason why I wanted to wear number 13. So my idol growing up was Glenn Robinson, of also course. known as the Big Dog. Oh, of course. Um, grew up watching him. And so I always wanted to wear 13. He mm -hmm. wore 13. Like that was, that was always the number I wanted to wear. In high school, though, the smaller number jerseys always went to the smaller guys. Yeah. yeah. And plus, we didn't have a 13 in high school, but we did have a 35. Yeah. And that reason I wore 35 was because of Brian Cardinal. Okay. Yeah. Also known as the janitor. Yeah. Right. He that was his nickname because he did everything else. Um, that's required when you play basketball. But in college, I got to wear 13. That's, so that's yeah. kind of the significance behind the number 13. That's much like me. I chose number one because Devin Booker, that's, that's my Absolutely. boy. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Alrighty. Okay. Well, you know, I, I was happy to ask you all these questions, but now <laughs> we have to go to my favorite segment, probably the Fast Five over at the Kennel. But we'll get there right after this break. Aaron's Flooring a family-owned business and your number one source for all things floors. We're dedicated to providing a wide selection of the best products. Aaron's Flooring has flooring experts on hand to help you determine your next steps in the buying experience. For all your retail and commercial flooring needs, we have products to help achieve the look and feel you desire. Stop into our Frankfurt showroom to view our wide selection of the highest quality products and services. Contact us today for a free in-home estimate and let us turn your house into a home. And welcome back as we're here with the Fast Five sponsored by Aaron's Flooring where we give Mr. Crawford a bunch of questions and he has to answer them. <laughs> right. So which is harder to coach girls or boys basketball? Ooh, that's, a, that's an interesting question because I've, I've coached both. Mm -hmm. um, I coached uh, boys basketball for a few years. Actually, for half, I've been a head coach for about the same number of years of boys and girls. So, you know, when it comes to which is more difficult, you know, coaching is such a big job anyway. Um, no matter if it's boys or girls, um, seeing the successes of kids, whether boys or girls, seeing where you start and where you finish is kind of one of the coolest things about being a coach. Um, you know, you get to see kids grow, you get to see kids kind of in a different light than what they would be during school. Um, you get to know them. You get to, you get to be a teacher in another avenue. So which, would you say these guys are like some, this team is one of your favorite teams to coach with? Or? They were a blast last year. They were, a blast. They were, they were an absolute blast. We, we love who we got coming back. Um, you know, it's always fun the first couple weeks of practice putting together the it's like a big puzzle, right? You put together the puzzle pieces. How are they going to fit? You got freshmen coming in. You might have kids that didn't play last year. And seeing how they all fit together and, and work together is, is one of the coolest things about being a coach. So, who would you say is your favorite? Favorite player on the team? I got 11. Oh, I like that answer. It's a good answer. It's a good answer. It's, it's better than Rushton's answer with kids. Um, what's your favorite ride at Disney World? Favorite ride at Disney World? Hmm. I really like Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain, Splash Mountain is, my, is my favorite. So. And I got another question is, do your brothers answer, answer you? Because they don't answer us on Facebook. So yeah, they, I'm guessing, do they, <laughs> do they answer you? Or? Did you message them both? Yeah. yeah. You messaged them both. So I got two younger brothers. Um, in that picture, I know it went up quick, but... I've got one brother that is here on the right. That's Marshall. He's my youngest brother. Um, and then he, he lives in Lafayette. And then my other brother here, he lives in Fort Myers. So um, that picture was actually taken 15 years ago, something like that. That was Purdue versus Indiana mm -hmm. State at Banker's Life, which at the time we went there was Conseco. So. <laughs> All righty. Well, that is it for the Fast Five. Now we have to go to the super duper director's question after the studio. Hi guys, welcome to the control room. My name is Taylor and I will hand you off to Addison with your director's question. All right, Mr. Crawford, we know you've been coaching for a very long time and we just wanted to ask if you could relive any moment from your coaching career, what moment would it be? So, as you heard in the studio, if you could relive one moment of coaching, what would it be? Would have been 2008 in March. It was my first year of coaching. Um, so I graduated in December, and I was looking at what I was what I was going to be doing. Um, so I just finished my student teaching. Um, I finished in the middle of the year, so there's not a whole lot of teaching jobs open in December. So I got an email from Joshua Kendrick, who was the head coach at Brownsburg High School. Um, so this was 2008. You guys might be familiar with at least one of the players that happened to be on that team. Yes, was, I am. Okay, so I walked into a situation, 22 years old, and on that team is Gordon Hayward, 
2K and you know NBA All Star, mm -hmm. you know currently with the Hornets and Julian Mavunga. Okay, so both of them ended up being Indiana All Staters. Okay, we uh, we go, I think we go 21 and four, something like that. Now, granted, this is my very first year ever coaching high school basketball. We we end up winning the sectional championship on a last second shot. We were down two at our place. Knocked it down, hit a three at the buzzer to win the sectional championship. And then we ended up going all the way to the state finals. Ended up playing against Marion. Uh, we, were down, we were down one with four seconds to go, taking the ball out of bounds the whole way down the court. We throw it down, ball gets tipped, Gordon picks it up in the middle of the lane, puts it in as the buzzer sounded, and we ended up winning the state championship. And that was my, <laughs> that was my first year ever coaching. And the head coach goes, hey, Matt, you know, not every year is going to be like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so so what, would be, what would be really good to relive that moment is to, um, now I've been very blessed to be at a lot of places, but um, I'm very, very happy to call Frankfurt home. Moved here, moved here in August. Mm -hmm. um, looking forward to being here a number of years. We got great girls, great students, you know. Phenomenal faculty to work with. Administration's been great. The students are awesome. So looking to relive that moment. And actually, I get to relive that moment every day at school. So, yeah. All righty. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. Uh, we really enjoyed having Thanks you. Thanks for having me very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Over in the corner. <laughs> All righty. Well, that's it for this episode. Uh, I, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, we certainly enjoyed having our guest, Matt Crawford, and we thank him so much. We also would like to thank all of our crew here. We'd also like to thank FOP for sponsoring this episode. And also, we have to thank all of our admin for letting this happen. And last, but certainly not least, we thank all of you for tuning in today. Thank you. Shout out, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs>